In IPv6, we have unicast addresses or one-to-one -one addresses, multicast addresses, one-to-many addresses, and anycast or one-to-nearest addresses. If we're looking at unicast addresses, there are three main types. Global unicast addresses, some of the most common prefixes are 2001, 2003, 2400, 2600, and 2610. Global unicast addresses are publicly routable. In other words, they're routable on the internet. There's also link local addresses, Every IPv6 enabled device is required to at least have a link local address that is used on the local link or local network. These addresses start with FE80. Another type of unicast address is a unique local address. A unique local address starts with FC00 and is the equivalent of an IPv4 private address. Unique local addresses can be routed on LANs or on private networks, but are not publicly routable. Looking at this diagram, we can see the various types of IPv6 addresses. We can see unicast, multicast, and anycast. If we look down at the unicast addresses, we see the global unicast, which are publicly routable, the link local, used only on the local link, the loopback address, an unspecified address, unique local used for private networks, and embedded IPv4 addresses in which an IPv4 address is embedded within an IPv6 address. Under the multicast addresses, we have assigned multicast addresses and solicited node addresses which are used in DAD or duplicate address detection. Here is a structured outline of an IPv6 address. Notice that the first 48 bits is the global routing prefix. The global routing prefix identifies the organization or company. In other words, 2001-0db8-AAAA would be a company or organization. Then the next 16 bits is the subnet ID. This is the area that the company or organization could use to create subnets within their organization. The last 64 bits is reserved for the interface ID and identifies the local computer or device on the network.